let's go ahead and get started <laughs> and then I'll stop sharing. Um, <laughs> welcome everyone. I think we might have a few people joining as we go. Um, my name is Laura Downey with Casey and I'm here today with um, our friends from the Missouri Environmental Education Association as well. And we are so pleased to do this virtual monthly event with you. And before we get started, we just wanted to thank um, the Pathfinder, um, which we found out has um, uh, a sister in, in Missouri as well. The Pathfinder um, was open here in Manhattan. It was actually open by um, some folks who um, the gentleman was on our board for many years and is still pretty involved. So that's kind of fabulous and wonderful. Mm -hmm. and, when, and when he sold it to Alpine Shop, it's nice to see them continue to be um, engaged. So um, with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Parker so that um, she can uh, introduce Donna Ray. All right, thank you. All right, Donna Ray Jones is a yoga and mindfulness teacher and coach with over six years of experience in guiding movement and mindfulness to adults and children. She's passionate about teaching and guiding comprehensive wellness programs within organizations to foster compassionate relationships, communities, and work environments. Donna Ray's expertise is derived from many years of harnessing embodied contemplative practices necessary to navigate the challenges of everyday living. She currently teaches at two nonprofit organizations in St. Louis, um, coach givers who, are, who care for their aging parents or grandparents and guides weekly hikes. Um, and there is a, a link to learn more about her information. We can drop that in the chat. All right, so I introduce you all to Donna Ray Jones. <laughs> Thank you, Parker. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Real excited to be invited for Yoga Wind Down. This evening, I thought what we would do is uh, a mindfulness practice, some movement and then followed by reflection and optional sharing. So I am looking at the screen on my laptop and I can see myself on my phone. So I'm looking this way so I can see faces and who's in the room. So just maybe by a show of hands, how many people have practiced yoga on the chair? If that's with your hand or with your reaction, No? Oh, okay. Well, I'm honored to be able to offer you this practice today. Be comfortable in your seat. So I can see some people like what seat they're in. I'm sitting in a folding chair and I have this pillow here that I'm gonna use just in the beginning so I am comfortable. So let's begin with a, a natural awareness practice coupled with um, self-compassion. This natural awareness is something that we already have access to. It's something that we're already familiar with, but may or may not actually say practice on a regular basis. So for the next about three minutes, we'll center ourselves and arise. So find yourself comfortable in your chair and then scan your body. Feel yourself connected, the feet on the floor, your seat on the chair. And then your hands resting on your thighs or in your lap. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. I notice your breath. The inhale and the exhale.
And perhaps you notice that you kind of just pause at the bottom of the breath. It's our natural awareness. When we inhale and exhale, just kind of riding that out, the breath. And when you notice that your mind is wandering, as it will, perhaps you can bring your attention back to the out breath. And then bring the hands to cup the head the heel of the hands right above the ears. Feel the, the weight of the hands on the head. Feeling the warmth of your own gentle touch. And then bring the right hand to the forehead and the left hand to the back of the head. Relax the shoulders down. Bring the left hand to the middle of the chest. Perhaps you notice your heartbeat by the rise and fall of your chest. And then bring the right hand to the belly. Perhaps you notice the belly expand, the chest rise. or the, some other movement in your body. Allowing your natural awareness just to come more in focus. And then rest the hands on the thighs. And just one more minute here. Arrive and settle. Shifting from some of the conversations or meetings or tasks that you had going on. And just put it down. If it's possible. Just keep bringing your attention to your breath, to your body, to the present moment. And then as you're ready, maybe open the eyes, just a slight amount. And then begin to look around the space that you're in, turning the head to the right. And then to the left, just taking in the things in the room that you're in, maybe even start to lift the eyes up toward where the wall and the ceiling meet. Looking back to the side and behind you, we are orienting to this space. Orienting is 
what we do as mammals out in the wild can be quite settling to the nervous system. Perhaps feelings of safety, familiarity. And then bring your attention to the screen, taking in who is here with us this afternoon. And then lift one hip at a time, coming forward of your chair, back of the chair. Just kind of scooting forward and scooting back. Kind of a body check to see if there's any tweakiness, any pain, and also connecting with the chair. Have the feet a little bit wider than hip distance, and you want to be in the center of the chair. Press into the ball of the foot and the heel. Bring the navel toward the spine to engage the belly. Bring the shoulders up toward the ears, back and down. Inhale and exhale. The eyes are out looking out to the horizon and the crown of the head to the sky. Seated mountain. So pause here. We live in a, in a culture where we're used to being rounded and kind of hunched over our technology. And so, and then depending on what kind of chair you sit in, we think that this is comfortable. And once we start to align the joints with the knees over the ankles, the hips at 90 degrees, the elbows in close to the body and the crown of the head to the sky, this feels a little unfamiliar. So we pause here to kind of set what it feels like to be in alignment. Slide the hands to the knees, bring the chin to the chest, round the middle back toward the back of the chair. Slide the hands up toward the hips, lift the heart, looking down the nose. Try not to drop the head back. Exhale round, slide the hands toward the knees, round the middle back, straighten the arms. Inhale, slide the hands up, arch, slight back bend, exhale round. Inhale, lift. And then come back to center. Bring the hands to the hips, press the hips down, giving yourself an adjustment. Lean over to the left, looking down toward the floor or out to the side. Come to center and then lean over to the right. And I'm leading with the elbow and the shoulder. Come to center and then lean, alternating side to side. Continue to press into the ball of the foot and the heel. The knees are pointing in the same direction as the toes. So if the, the knees are falling in or if the knees are falling out. See how much you can point the knees in the same direction as the toes. One more time each direction. And then come to sit tall, bring the left arm across the body to find the opposite leg. The right hand can stay on the hip, 
the side of the chair or back behind, and then turn to the right. Shoulders are down, the head is center of the chest. Steady, easeful breathing. At any time something feels painful or not quite right, please listen to your body and either come out of the pose some or not, or not do it at all. You can stay here or you can start to turn the head to look over the shoulder back behind you. Perhaps part the lips, part the teeth. Steady breathing. Bring the head center of chest and release, come to center. Cross the right hand over to the opposite leg, left hand to the side of the chair or back behind you. And then begin to turn, roll the shoulder back, turn in the upper body to the side. Head stays center. Stay here or start to look off to the side or back behind you. Find what works for you today. Bring the head to center, release, bring the hands to the thighs. Gonna interlace the, the fingers, turn the palms up, wherever the arms reach. So they can be down right at chest height, forehead height, or above the head. And lean over to the left. Come to center and then lean over to the right. So alternate here. Gaze out in front of you or down. Notice if you're looking up. So we want it neutral or lower. Come to center and float the hands down to the legs. Heel toe the feet closer together, extend the left leg out. Heel down, toes up, depending on if you have on shoes or socks. Just notice. And then spread or splay the toes as much as you can. And then ball the toes. Spread the toes, splay the toes, and then ball. Point and flex the foot. Still a generous bend in the leg and point and flex. Sway the foot side to side. Bring the leg still. We're gonna point the toes and then drag the foot in and lift, extend the leg out, and then lower, point, drag the foot in, and lift, extend, and lower. So try that a few times on your own. Next time you bring the leg in, up, pause here. Stay here or swing the leg out to the side and then back to center. Out and then to center. The next time the leg is out, pause here. Take a few breaths. Bring the leg to center, exhale and lower. Notice how the left side feels to the right. 
just kind of checking in with the body. Extend the right leg out, heel down, toes up. Generous bend in the leg. Splay the toes and then ball the toes. Sometimes I find using my hands, my toes work differently. So that's why what you see here. And then point and flex the foot. Swing the foot side to side. Bring the leg to center, point the toes, drag the leg in and lift. Extend and lower. And breathe. One last time. Next time the leg is lifted, pause here. And then swing the leg out to the side and back in. Once the leg is out, pause here. Bring the leg to center and lower. And sit tall. Make loose fists. And extend one arm up to the ward, the sky, and then the opposite. Straighten in the arm as much as feels comfortable. You can stay here or you can add in the leg. The leg can be bent or the leg can be straight. And then begin to bring the legs out or release the legs and then bring the arms, the fists across the body. So you're turning the body in the same direction as the fist. You can follow the fist with your eyes or look out in front of you. Maybe you bring the fist up higher. Or bring the fist outside the knees. Create your own pattern. Slowly begin to bring this to Pause, bring the hands to the knees, walk the feet a little bit wider than hip distance. And you can continue to sit straight in your chair. I'm just gonna turn to the side some. Walk the feet a little bit wider than hip distance. Bring the fingertips to touch right at the heart. The head is to, the top of the head is toward the sky, shoulders down. Inhale, lift the hands up toward the sky, bring the arms out wide, palms face forward, wiggle the fingers, and then turn to the right. Come to center and turn to the left. Turning side to side, keeping the head between the arms as much as feels comfortable. Notice how the Hips are moving as you turn side to side.
One more time, each side. And then come center. Sweep the arms up toward the sky. Bring the thumbs back, lifting the heart, bringing the arms back. So it's a slight back bend, a very small back bend. Then come center. Fingertips up toward the sky. Bring the thumbs back, lift the heart. Come to center. Again, lift, pause, and this slight back bend. Come to center, bring the fingertips together, hands down to the heart. Inhale, lift, bring the arms out wide. Turn to the left, turn to the right. Come to center. Lift the arms up toward the sky, slight back bend, lift. Come to center, bring the fingertips together, down to the heart. Inhale, lift, bring the arms out wide, turn to the left. Turn to the right. Come to center, sweep the arms up, slight back bend. Continue to press into the feet. To Knees are in the same direction of the toes. Come to center, fingertips together. Exhale, the hands down to the heart. Inhale, lift, bring the arms out wide. And we're gonna forward fold. Bring the upper body parallel to the floor. Exhale, bring the hands outside the legs. Reaching for the ankles or the feet. Inhale, lift the upper body, swing the arms out to the side, and then turn the palms up, reach for the sky, slight back bend. Fingertips together, down to the heart. Inhale, bring the arms out wide, forward fold, calm, pause, upper body, and then exhale, fold forward. Hands outside the legs, or maybe it feels more comfortable for the arms to be inside the legs. Press into the feet, sweep the arms out, palms down, then turn the palms up. Sweep the arms high to the sky, slight back bend, fingertips together down to the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms out, palms up. Fingertips together, hands down to the heart. Bring the hands to rest on the thighs. Bring the feet a little bit closer together. Bring the heels back where the knees are over the toes. We're going to press into the feet to come to stand. So before we stand, look around your space as you want an arm's length, at least an arm's length distance clear before we stand. So look around, see if there's anything on the floor or on the desk or the table in front of you. Press into the feet and then begin to bring the body, upper body forward. And then come back to center. So we're preparing to stand. Bring the body forward and then back. Now the hands can stay on the thighs or if you want to bring them to the side of the chair or if you want to stand up the way you normally stand up, you can do that also. So bring yourself forward. Press into the feet to stand. Press the hips forward a slight amount. Bend the knees, sit the hips back, maybe look, where is the chair? And then sit down. So it depends on if you move your feet on if the chair moved, okay? So press the body forward. Press into the feet and stand. 
Bring the hips forward aside a mouth, squeeze in the glutes. Sit the hips back, look back, and then sit down. Come forward and then stand. Come to the side of the chair. Where the, well, my left leg is closest to the chair. Light touch on the back of the chair. Slight bend in the left leg. Rock back and forth. Find the ball of the foot and the heel. Maybe lift the toes. Place each toe down. Hug the navel toward the spine and begin to lift the right leg. Any amount, one toe, one inch or higher. The right hand can hang at the side of the body or at the rest on the hip. Extend the leg out and then point and then touch the big toe down. Lift the leg, bend the leg. Bring it back to meet the left. Just a toe tap. Lift, extend, toe tap, lift, and lower. Maybe the foot hovers about above the floor or it comes to rest on the floor. Find where you are today. Bring the leg down to rest. Slight bend in the left leg, begin to lift the right leg, and then begin to lean forward, extend the leg back behind you, toes down. Inhale, come to stand tall, bring the leg back to center. Come forward, send the leg back behind you. The upper body can be even more parallel to the floor. Find where you are today. Extending that leg back. Exhale, come forward, extend the leg back. Pause here, looking down to the floor, the crown of the head forward, right hand on the hip or out to the side. Take three breaths here. Bring the hand to the hip, lift the upper body, bring the leg back to center, and then lower. Pause for a moment. Notice how the right side feels next to the left. And then come to the other side of the chair. So you may find, notice the difference from side to side. Your balance is different, maybe your strength is different, and that is normal. So find the ball of the foot and the heel, rock forward and back. There's a bend in the right leg, right fingertips on the top of the chair. Notice if you're popping the hip out from the ankle, the knee, and the hip in one line or mostly in one line. Begin to lift the left leg, extend, point, touch. Tap, lift, bend, tap. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And you could breathe in a different pattern than what I am guiding.
Next time the leg comes to center, pause here. And lower the leg. Lift the left leg, hand is on the hip or at the side of the body. Again, to extend the leg back behind the upper body is coming forward. Lift, come to center. Exhale, come forward, extend the leg back behind. Inhale to stand tall. Exhale, come forward. The left hand stays on the hip or out to the side, looking down to the floor, crown of the head. Forward. Take a few breaths here. Bring the hand back to the hip. Come to center, lower the leg. Come to stand behind the chair. Walk the feet a little bit wider than hip distance and you wanna bend in the legs, rock forward and back. Bring the fingertips right to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up and then out. Wiggle the fingers, turn to the left. Come to center and then turn to the right. So try it again, turn. So it may feel a little bit different than when we were seated. Come to center, send the hands up toward the sky, thumbs back, lift the heart, press the hips forward. Come to center, bring the fingertips together down to the heart. Inhale, bring the arms out wide, turn to the left. Turn to the right. Come to center, sweep the arms up. Back then. Come to stand tall, fingertips together, down to the heart. So try that two times on your own, following your own guidance, following your own breath. Bring the fingertips to the top of the chair and step back. See how far back the feet need to be for the arms to be mostly straight. And there's a slight tilt to the upper body. You're gonna reach for the back of the chair, okay? You want the feet a little bit wider than hip distance and turn the toes out. And then come to stand tall. Bring the fing fingertips to meet right at the heart. Inhale, lift the arms up and out. Exhale, fold forward, reach for the chair, sit the hips back. Crown of the head toward the front. Hips straight back. Stay here or come into a forward fold. Maybe the hands come to the seat or to the legs of the chair. Still a, a bend in the legs. Let the upper body hang. Maybe shake the head yes. Shake the head no. Try that a couple of times. If you can reach for the floor, Try that, shaking the head yes, and shaking the head no. Part the lips, part the teeth, 
and breathe. Bend the legs, set the hips back, and then walk up the back of the chair slowly, meaning not fast. Bring the hands to the top of the chair, pause here with the hips straight back. Bring the hand to the thigh and then the other hand to the thigh. Press yourself to stand tall, very slowly. Straighten the legs, crown of the head toward the sky. If you feel dizzy, sway side to side. We're gonna try that again. So if you, you feel dizzy, first slow down or don't do it at all. Bring the fingertips to touch right at the heart. Inhale, sweep the arms out wide. Exhale, fold forward, find the chair. Hands rest here. Stay here. Or begin to walk down the chair. Or to the fingertips to the floor. Bend the legs, sit the hips back. Walk up the chair, very slow. Breathe. Bring the hands to the legs. Press yourself tall, come to stand up, maybe sway side to side, let the arms just hang. Maybe sway the arms, swing the arms in the opposite direction, swaying side to side. Heel toe the feet underneath the hips. Sway the hips side to side, the arms in the opposite direction. And then let's make circles with the hips. Let the arms hang outside the body. The gaze can be down to the floor. Maybe make figure eights with the hips. and bring it to stillness. Rock forward on the ball of the foot, lift the heels, and then sway back, come up on the heels, lift the, the toes. You're just gonna rock back and forth. Let me come to the side, maybe you can see my feet. Lift the heels, come back, lift the toes. Pressing the hips forward. Come to stand right in front of the chair. Walk the feet a little bit wider than hip distance. Turn the toes out. See where the chair is. We're not gonna sit on the chair, but we're gonna move our hips as close to the chair as feels comfortable. So just see where it is. Bring the hands to the hips. Bend the legs, sitting the hips down as if you were going to sit down and then straighten. Bend and straighten. So the crown of the head toward the sky and the hips are going straight down. So you can continue here or maybe you lift one heel as you sink down. Um, tall, and then the opposite. You can stay here, or maybe you lift both heels. Mm -hmm. 
lift the arms out to 90 degrees and then out to the side when you come to stand. Bend the arms, sit straight down. Bend the arms, bend the legs. Inhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, kind of out as in victory. Bend the arms, bend the legs. Inhale, lift, victory. Inhale, lift. One last time, bend the legs, bend the arms, pause here. Inhale. Straighten, lift, back bend, pause here. Come to stand tall, let the hands come down to the hips, heel toe, the feet underneath the hips. Find your chair and sit down. Bring the feet forward of the knees, come toward the front of the chair, the hands can come to the the leg of the chair or the seat or back behind you. Find what feels comfortable for the, the shoulders. And lean back. Tuck the chin towards the chest and lean back. To, to hover above the back of the chair and then come forward. Exhale, lean back. Come forward. You can continue here, or maybe you lift the heels as you lean back. Lower the heels, come forward. Stay there, or lift the arms out in front of you as you lean back and lift the heels. Lower the hands to the top of the knees, lower the heels. Inhale, lift, and lean back. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Next time you lean back, pause here. Steady breathing. Exhale, lower the hands, lower the heels. Come to sit toward the middle of the chair. Roll one shoulder at a time. Rolling back, finding some movement side to side. What feels natural to you? Maybe coming forward, leaning back, looking to the side, looking out. And then come up to rest all the way at the back of the chair. Bring the back of the hands to the top of the thighs. Perhaps you close your eyes or have a heavy gaze. Feel your heart beating. Any sensations in the body, that tingling or pulsing or throbbing or something else? And then be comfortable. The hands can rest on the thighs. Maybe you slouch a little bit. Find what the legs want to do. And be comfortable for the next few moments. Checking in with yourself. Notice how you feel.
staying connected to the sensations in your body as much as possible. Perhaps you name for yourself, pulsing, perspiration, or coolness. or twitching. The body is always in the present moment. It's our mind that wanders. We're practicing aligning the heart the body and the mind. Bring the hands to rest on the body in some tender way, if it's on the belly, on the heart or one on each. Send to yourself love, appreciation and gratitude for all the ways that show, you show up for yourself, for your teammates, for your organization, for your family, for your friends. And send that around the room to everyone in class, to everyone who meant or planned to be here. And then send it out to the community. Love, gratitude, and appreciation. And then send it out into our state our country and watch it ripple out into the world. Open your eyes, take in the screen. Thank you for your practice. Thank you for making time for yourself and for one another.